We all love a good underdog story, which is why today we're gonna cover the many wonders of the mini Splatling. What's good y'all, I'm CJ Hyperfresh, a Splatoon content creator, and I'm gonna tell you why this tiny tyrant is one of the most underrated, underappreciated, and underutilized weapons in the game. So the mini has decent range, an insanely fast charge time, great painting capability, and good mobility. But like any good underdog story, it has some serious competition stacked up against it. When side by side with other weapons, there are just several ways is this petulant popsicle gets outclassed. For example, when compared to the Splattershot or Inzap, the mini Splatling struggles to be relevant. The mini only outranges these two weapons by the hairs of its chinny chin chin, which honestly isn't enough of a reason for people to pick it up over these two competitors. And say, if you wanted that extra range of the mini, the Splattershot Pro often takes the cake for that. And on top of this, these three weapons don't require you to charge your shots before firing, making them vastly more user-friendly than the mini. So now you may be asking yourself, well then, what the heck? Heck, where's the appeal of this weapon, CJ? Well, remember, the mini Splatling is the underdog. And what do people always do when they see an underdog? They completely underestimate them. And that is where the mini shines the brightest. Funnily enough, that one seemingly insignificant boost in range that the mini has over the Inzap and Splatter Shot really take people by surprise. This lightweight legend is a four-shot kill weapon. And with the charge speed of Sonic the Hedgehog, you'll easily catch your opponents off guard with how fast you're able to retaliate or pull off a tactical retreat. This charge speed also aids in the reason why the mini is an exceptional painter, easily able to take control of the map within seconds. All of this painting power is the perfect storm to make the mini a special output powerhouse, and with all of these factors combined, the mini is a pretty well-rounded support weapon, despite its initial relevancy. And like any Splatling, I recommend equipping some run speed up for that increased mobility, ink saver main to give you some leeway on your charge cycles, and quick super jump to help you out of a tough tussle. So if you're looking for a weapon that'll keep your opponents guessing and stressing, then the mini Splatling might be for you. It may be a strange weapon, but it's a strange weapon with the element of surprise and the plot armor of a hero in a true underdog story. Big thanks to Squidman for having me here today, and if you enjoyed my weird metaphors, feel free to check out my channel. Link down in the description below. Take care. Bye.